Hello friends, it's been a while. On this video, I'm going to share how I make vector sceneries. Disclaimer, I am not very good with this topic. Somehow, I'm just going to share the things I know and rules that I follow. In drawing landscapes, we always determine the horizon, the line where the earth and sky meet. We can put the horizon above our canvas or below it, but not on the middle. It is also a rule in photography. Putting our horizon below will emphasize more on our sky, and to balance that, a little accent of the land. If we draw our horizon above our canvas, we emphasize more on the landscape or it can be the ocean. I also follow three major sections in drawing landscapes. We have the foreground, things that are nearest to the viewers, like a shrub, and maybe a rock, or a fence, or anything else. The middle ground where most of our subjects are placed. Example here is the shore, the ocean, and a sailboat. And the third one is the background, which consists of the sky and the sunset. This is the simplest instructions I can share you. I hope this gives you the ideas on how to make awesome sceneries. Now let's apply these rules and make a vector background illustration. Let's make a tiny house as our subject. Let's add plants and fill up the spaces. Some rocks for little details, and another rock for our front element. Add puddles, or maybe a creek will be nice. More rocks and vegetations, and take note to make your shapes as simple as possible. And to finish the sketch, we add mountains and clouds for our background. I used the pencil tool for irregular shapes, like drawing the shrubs and leaves while I use the pen tool to make more accurate shapes. After making the different forms, we can add texture and clip it to the main shape like this rock, and add gradients to add the simplest tones and values. We also need to understand how our layers work, what layer should be on top and what layer should be at the bottom to create effective vector art. And here's a tip in coloring your background art. Foreground elements like this rock has a darker hue. It is a rule. When objects are near the viewer, color tends to be darker. The middle ground colors has the right amount of light. Therefore, you must have the right amount of color. Not too light, not too dark. But of course, we must consider our shade or dark tones and our highlights. and the backgrounds. Backgrounds are more on the greenish or bluish tones because of our air. Air has density. If it is up front or within our eyes normal range, it is invisible. But from afar, trees and mountains, for example, tends to fade. And this is the simplest way to make a scenery. If this video helped you out in any way, clicking the like button would be great. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and that'd be awesome. Feel free to ask questions on the comment box and I will try to answer them in any way I can. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can tag me on your awesome vector background projects. So I'll just leave the video playing and please watch until the end. Hope to see you guys on the next video.